Welcome back once again to another edition of Let's Play WWE 2004. And as always, I'm joined by Sam. Yo, yo, yo. So, I think we gotta, before we get into Raw, we gotta elaborate a little on what happened uh, last week. Yeah, what'd you do with the audio, man? Well, I guess, uh... I guess uh, my computer didn't like how much we were didn't like how much we were picking on SmackDown and uh, chose to get rid of the audio. Sometimes you just gotta pick on SmackDown, bro. So, um, I mean, as far as you know, the big things that were missed, uh, the finals of the. United States uh, Championship Chase are John Cena and A Train, which, um, well, we, I don't know if we've decided yet, but it, it, they're either taking place at No Way Out in uh, this weekend, actually, or the following week on SmackDown. Um, the feud between the Guerreros and World's Greatest continued. And we also found out that Ken Shamrock sucks. So it will likely be a six-man tag team match or a regular tag team match at No Way Out for the main event, including Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, and Ken Shamrock, and other people in some form or fashion. Maybe Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit, but that would only be a two-on-three handicap match and not a six-man tag team match. So we'll figure it out, but we'll figure it out when it comes to be. And also, as you can tell right here, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura continued his win streak with one of the better matches on the show. Velocity and uh, Disco Inferno continued his win streak uh, with another win a as well. Yep. But now we switch gears and go to Sunday Night Heat, or in this case, Monday Night Heat. Um, I just have to re remember, refresh. Okay, so Joe's on this. Joe's on this brand. And and how we've normally been doing it, or recently been doing it, is that uh, Tommy and Al Snow would have interaction, and Al Snow would have his guy or chosen guy that's going to face Tommy in a hardcore match on Raw you know, face off with Tommy on Heat before the match. So, either way, I th think we need a uh, local talent. Um, do you want to maybe not do it in Puerto Rico? Yeah, probably. Um... Southeast it is. Yeah, what was in the southeast? It's like Florida, right? Yeah. Huh, seventeen year old Jinder Mahal. Uh -huh. The man who comes in peace. Well, there's a uh, certain American wolf that we could get. Or we can get an earthquake. No, he's too old. <laughs> can we go to Peyton for a second? Oh, it is her. She's maybe W. Yep. Um. So unfortunately, nobody here is actually. 
I think Joe's a I mean, I kind of want to use Virgil. <laughs> uh, he's too old, isn't he? Oh no, we don't have we don't have those goals anymore. Oh, well, because we broke the rules. Yeah. Oh, okay. Isn't that the best? Isn't that the best? <laughs> you break the rules and and you don't get in trouble for it. You just don't have any rules anymore. <laughs> 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 um, I'm looking at either Pete Gass or Luther Reigns for Tommy's Invitational. Oh, uh, Pete Gass. I don't want to make Luther Reigns look like a fool. I get it anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can bring him up and give him a stuttering gimmick. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's start with the one we know, and that is Samoa Joe. I just got to go switch Eddie Edwards. Unless, unless, do you want to have Eddie be the one who faces Tommy, and then Pete Gas can face Joe? Have somebody who's like a little more known. Uh, at this point, Joe should be nobody's favorite. That's fair. Mm, so let me just switch Eddie to Babyface, because I thought Joe was a Babyface. I confused him with Shinsuke. Pete Gass. Yeah. Yeah. Those two are going to be in the event WrestleMania for us. <laughs> yeah, in, in, in an interpromotional match. <laughs> no, because we're going to have, like, drafts or something, are we? Uh, so, I would prefer not using Tatanka this week since we just uh, had him used uh, as a local guy last week. That's fine. What did I want to look up? Oh, yeah, Maven. Oh yeah, so we chose to turn Maven heel. That'd be interesting. Um. So. Tag team. Midgard. I'm just skimming through. America's most wanted. Hmm. What about Doug versus one of the Amer AMW members? Uh, we could do uh, team versus team. Well, we just did team versus team last week. Oh, we did? Yeah. Well, then I would prefer having one of the Bashams at least win. Okay, uh, if, we, if we have to have a Basham win, then it's going to be Danny. I mean, Doug, 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 Doug. Fuck Danny. Okay. Danny yeah, Basham's not a real Basham. I would love to repackage Danny Basham as Danny Holiday. Because <laughs> that was his name when he first started wrestling dark matches. Oh, really? Danny Holiday? I like it better than Danny Basham. Yeah, then we could make uh, Doug. We'll give him his old school picture of the damage Yeah, then we could make Doug the machine. Oh, yeah. I like that. Huh. I think we should push Trish versus Jazz. 
what the bastards can do. Yeah. And then they can watch these respect them. Well, this feud's yeah, over. Well, I mean, we don't have to uh, book them in a match. We just have to push the feud. Because it's set at 12. <laughs> Um, let's save the bikini contest for the other show, and then we could do a what you call it, uh, a brawl. Because yeah, but then we could do a cat fight after it because Jazz and Molly won't want to do a bikini contest. That's true. I still get it off the form. Bobby Dog? Mm hmm. Do you ever use the EW Battleground? I think that's where I got my 2016 file. Oh, dude, check this out. So I'm playing WSW, right? In a personal game? Uh huh. And there's not very many um, angles. And so I go, what the hell? So then I go to all my other um, things and I import all the angles from every one of them, every, every save I have. Uh huh. Because I wanted hella angles. And so then I went and did another show and there were still like not very many angles. And then I was like getting really upset and frustrated with it. And apparently what I figured out was my angles were there, they were just like turned off. And so I had to go and turn them on. Huh. I've never heard that before. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Huh. Okay, so uh, Test and the Hurricane are in the main event. Yeah, buddy. Because they can't main event uh, a good show. Well, of course not. I kind of want to do a comedic segment like we did on uh, Velocity but have it involve uh, Hockey Tonk Man yeah dude well you just have kind of promo I'm sure it'd be comedy enough what should we do with somebody or not well I think he's only on uh, I think he's only on an appearance contract yeah two appearances oh uh, two appearances what are we signing for then? he's gonna put over Goldberg He's King. He's King's cousin. We br oh, yeah, we brought him in for the Goldberg thing. Oh, okay. The only. Th yeah, let's just have him do a comedy promo on Sunday night, feed, and then on Raw we'll have him get lose the Goldberg. Yeah, the only. Oh, how about have him? How about have him backstage with an agent? That works. And he's saying, "I want." Where's Jerry Lawler? Where's Jerry Lawler? He asked me for a favor or something. Yeah. You can say I'm Jerry Lawler's personal guest. Uh, where's an agent? Yeah, Bruce Pritchard. I hear he's working for an owl now. You listen to that podcast? Yeah, he does. <laughs> I can't wait to hear him show it on his podcast. I wonder who he's working for. I don't know who. Who? 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 Well, you know what? That's funny because that's New Day's stick. <laughs> so, like, you should go to Impact like, Wrestling and do that shit. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like Victoria may need something, so how about we uh, give Victoria something with ivory? Because even though Victoria's lost the last two weeks, I don't know how she still has um, positive momentum. Huh? Um. Because she's a strong character. What else can we do? It really felt bad for her because in ten years, her husband, your husband's gonna cheat on her. <laughs> wow, we're talking ten years down the road. Oh, that's good. Let's get let's get done with heat. James Storm beat Danny Basham. The soon to be Danny Holiday. Yeah. Not a bad segment from the hockey talk man and Bruce Pritchard. Not at all. He's like, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, Jerry Lola's personal guest, Bruce Pritchard. Um oh, yeah, well, well, I will say this that um Putting Honky in this and then putting Honky on Raw counts as two appearances, so he will be gone after Raw. No, that's, that's, that's fine, right? That's what Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 52, not bad. Eh. I mean, Eddie is 20, so... Eh. I mean, him getting a 14 really uh, alleviates the idea of signing him. <laughs> well, he's like, Tommy Dreamer, meet my little friend, Pegas. <laughs> Not bad, 42 for Basham. Meh. Yeah. I think he did better than his brother, or friend, or whatever the, however the fuck they're together. Jazz and Molly not bringing that feud back up from a 12 and a 69 for Test in the Hurricane Brian Lawler <laughs> you want to bring him in too? yes mm -hmm. Brian Lawler Okay, so how did we start Raw last week? As always, we started it with our good friends Evolution, and we ended it with Shawn Michaels and Kane. Oh, uh, it was the number one contender match for uh, WrestleMania. Yeah. So let's start off with uh, Triple H a little bit before how pissed off he is because getting Sean time after time after time again and then Sean might go just one girl away. That way it's just a little bit Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Because Randy now has... Well, did you want to start a feud with Randy, Christian, and Booker T? Because I, if I remember, I think Randy... Uh, is the reason why Christian and Booker's match ended in a disqualification. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, or did we just... Oh yeah, we just added Randy to the feud. Yeah, because the RVD's on drugs. Yeah, because I wasn't sure what we were going to do, if we were going to do Matt Hardy, or we were going to do, uh... Or we were going to do, uh... This. Okay, so now, uh, well, how do we normally do the Invitational? Oh, Perry actually beat him last. I gotcha. Okay. So. Well, I think we also had Al Snow cheat to help him win. 
It would help if I made this match a hardcore match. No, because if you make a hardcore match, you're like, this match was against my strength. I hated it. Yeah, but it's Pete Gas, who cares? And it won't be against Tommy's strengths. Now, do you want to have it where maybe, uh, Al ha causes a botched interference? Or just have Tommy win clean? Um, just have Tommy win clean. This is Pete Gas. Okay, um. Yes, Pete Gas is in developmental. Okay, um, so now what I'm thinking is, do you want to have Jerry not not be on commentary this week and just be with Honky Tonk Man? Okay, um, so we can do this. We can, uh, have him miss maybe a match just being backstage with Honky Tonk Man. And then when Honky comes out, he introduces Honky Tonk Man. That's cool. I mean, of course, it's not going to be, you know, right after, so. Um. Oh, let's put Eddie in a dark match because we still have him. That works. Uh, who do you want him to go against? Uh, did we even try to heal yet or no? No. Is that already healed? No. Uh, let's put Maven against the Tonka. I mean, I know it's a baby face match, but what could you do? I'm not Maven, any other one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now let's, uh, well, no. Have we booked a tag team match in this? We have. Okay, um, so how about one on one? Uh, Jazz against Trish or Jazz against Lita? I mean, you want this to be number one contender? Yeah, I can do that. And Trish can win. Hell yeah, because she's pretty. Yeah, sure, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we booked all those guys. Huh. I'm kind of surprised we never, we've never actually used Stevie as uh, Tommy's guy. You know, one of Tommy's opponents. We could do or Spike. I mean, yeah, they're baby faces, but you, but you know that they're gonna actually not come up as oh, we're crappy at hardcore matches. Yeah. Might, though, so. For some reason, people do. Um. I presume you want to use Dave. Dave Lubitz Pizza. Yeah. Dave, um, what are we doing with Pizza right now? Nothing? Nothing. We're having him work matches against random mid-carters. I mean, if you want him to beat Matt Hardy, he can. Yeah, we can do it. Just put him in a holding pattern until Mania. What are we going to do with Mania? He's not tagged the champion anymore, right? Nope. I mean, I bet we could, uh, you know... I bet we could put him in, like, an Andre the Giant Wario Battle Royal. Oh, wait. Uh, it's not a thing yet. Uh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, where's Hulk Hogan right now? The world? Injured. 
Yeah. We can bring a big brother and have him announce the tournament. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is the 20th anniversary of WrestleMania. time Randy actually worked? The week three. Randy has actually not went won a match yet this year. <laughs> Holy shit, Randy Orton is 23 years old. Yeah, we didn't I know I didn't actually notice. He was so young? Yeah. Has Kane fought Rosie? You want Kane to fight Rosie? Or Randy to fight Rosie? Yeah, we'll make Randy fight Rosie. That works. We'll give Randy a quick, easy win. We'll give Randy an easy win. Uh, then I guess we can go to that. Jerry Lawler. Introducing the honky tonk man. I don't want this segment to shit the bed, so I'm not gonna let honky tonk man be raided because nobody cares about the honky tonk man. I get it. I get it. Oh yeah, and you're alright with book, uh, moving WrestleMania up from week four, right? Of next month? Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't think we'll need another month to, to set up Mania. I mean, no, we need more time. Well, I mean, if you look at it, we have the top matches, top matches set with uh, Angle and Brock and Sean and Hunter and Kane and The Undertaker and well, that feud hasn't started yet. Or, or no, it just started. Uh, this is going... I mean, we have a lot of the matches set up. I mean, we do need more. But, I mean, if we're also going to do the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, then that's going to occupy at least 15 minutes. Uh... Yeah. Big Show and Cena. Um, I mean, we are moving. I, maybe it's fair to leave it where it is, and if we're good by week three, we can always switch it. Um, um, Okay. Where to next? Have we done a heated confrontation? Would you want to do a heated confrontation between Goldberg and Jerry Lawler? Mm, maybe next week. Okay. I don't want to <laughs> Goldberg, Goldberg's very good in the feud. Yeah. Goldberg's very good in the feud. Oh, uh, that's what we can do. We can uh, push. Uh, we could push. Um, we can push the feud with the Steiners and the Dudleys. Uh, so who should? Uh, who do you want to have a match this week? The Dudleys or the Steiners? Um, I'll look in a second. 
Uh, they did an in-ring last week. I presume one team called the other team out. Oh, so we did that already? Yeah, so I, you know, I figured we could just have them run promos this week. You know, one of them run promos this week, the other run promo next week. Because then that takes us into March. Uh, I mean, I don't think they need somebody there. Um, so I guess it's a lot of resistance versus the Dudleys. You want to, I mean, do you want to book the tag titles on the line? Um, well, the main event would kill a lot of the time we have left, since we have 32 minutes left. Just out of curiosity, when was the last time Hunter competed? Wrestle, uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah. So he hasn't competed in almost a month in a match. I mean, would you... Uh, hopefully we have a top... <laughs> hopefully we have a top baby face to book him against. I know, we had that problem. Um, well, we have the Steiner Brothers or Booker T. Since I didn't think you want to book uh, Goldust's first match against Triple H. I mean, that'd be a good match for Goldust. Yeah, for, uh, yeah but, I mean, would you want to book his return match to WWE against Hunter? Okay, so I think we'll have about maybe nine minutes left. Oh, six minutes left. Um, Sean, I'm guessing. Yeah, sure, that works. You want him to, you want him to be alone, or do you want him to be with someone, like a, an an, an interview person? I mean. Well, interview wise, I don't know, me and Jim. Do we have to meet Jim? I. Um, uh, let me let me list Hugo Savitovich because uh, I think we actually do. Um, no, we don't. It's fine, you want to, we'll keep it realistic. We'll have him be with Lillian. Uh, so we had a minute to this since Hunter and Nage. Since it's Hunter and Nage. Really, we have to book a minute? Are you kidding me? Um. Woman's match, you get it. Of course, I can't give it to a. I can't give it to a freaking match without. Just because, and storytelling. And we're off. We're off to the races. Yep. Oh wow, Eddie did better. Yeah. Yep. Smart signing, huh? <laughs> uh, now that I think about it, we may have given Tatanka a paper appearance, I mean, a, an appearance limit. Uh, whatever, we'll figure it out. So we'll check. We got a... 92? That's great. Yeah. Eh, 40... Well, it's also that Eddie Edwards did better than Pete Gass. Because Eddie got an 18. 
So, <laughs> but Honky Dog Man, I could have put it in the feud. Oh well. 65 with Trish and uh, Jazz. That's really going to help the feud. 71. Not terrible. 80. <laughs> Flair's been used like... <laughs> so much. 72. Randy's first match in over a month. <laughs> Yeah. Randy got an 82, and we haven't made him compete since January week three. Well, actually week four, because he competed at the Rumble. In the Rumble. And that's why I didn't let Hockey Talk Man be, uh... Be rated. Because I knew he would have taken down the segment. This is, and by the way, anybody who's listening and is actually a fan of the Honky Tonk Man, I am not insulting the Honky Tonk Man. In the game, he's not popular. It's not that he's not good. In the game, can't show Mark six bubble. Well, and if you looked at his last MMA fight, then, uh... <laughs> yeah, but it was last MMA fight in 2004. Um, no, his last MMA fight was... Yeah. Against Tito. Goldberg and the Honky Tonk Man. Sadly, Goldberg and the Honky Tonk Man did worse than Goldberg against Gilberg. Oh, really? Yeah. So that means Gilberg did better in the ring than the Honky Tonk Man. Well, he's Gilbert, yeah. He's been Gilbert. Yeah. Uh, the Dudleys with their promo. The Dudleys with their match. Pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, it was only a sprain. Okay. I was, you know, I see the, I see an injury and I thought it was the Dudley boys. So I was like, oh, shit. There goes WrestleMania. <laughs> Uh oh, Devon. Uh, Devon got some heat backstage because he injured Renee. He hurt Renee wow, even with Lillian in the segment, the se the promo still got an eighty six. It would have done better if Lillian wasn't in the segment. Yeah, but it's still an eighty six, so it's uh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, but that's not a good main event. Ugh. I mean, a final rating of a 78, and we lost popularity in seven regions, and I mean, uh, gained popularity in seven, and lost popularity in 18. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it, it, in our defense, we're looking forward to WrestleMania. We're, we're, that's all we're thinking about. That's all we're thinking about. Just, just WrestleMania. Yeah, we don't care about Monday Night Raw. We don't care about Raw. We don't care about SmackDown. We just want WrestleMania. So, yeah. Um,. Well, with that being the case, let us know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of the show. If you thought the show was better than a 78, maybe the game is conspiring against us. If you thought the show was better than 78, then give us a hell yeah. Um, but also, as always, feedback is more than welcomed and appreciated, so leave a comment but if you don't want to leave a comment you could always leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at wrestling express till next time